Hello from Slovenia again. Today I will try to do a pearl pour kind of and I will use um, these little big pigments. Uh, I will use, oop, let's show this on that camera, Lagoon and Tuffy. I love this color and mermaid and glisten this is interference uh, greenish kind of color i love it and i will use oxide black and <clears throat> why i think that i will get some pearl pores i dispersed my piggies with vallejo polyurethane satin varnish uh, I will put link in cards and down in description box how I mix those um, with Vallejo I showed it on one video so I will not show in every one that it will not be too boring for those who already know but when I mix this in colors or um, uh, pigments tends to sell and create some lacing and of course I mix them with my pouring medium after just disperse it and my consistency is pretty thin today this is the consistency it sinks right away <clears throat> and if you use pigments this sticks from fluid art co they are just amazing because you can really scrape where I can show you that you will see the most here, here. Almost everything you see. And when you mix pigments, it, it's important to have, you know, sticks that they will scrape them. So I will do it just my way. As I always, I did it my way. Um, I will just pour some paints and pour some black and maybe blow with the hair dryer a little bit and then stretch it. So I will start with this mermaid and lagoon on top. And Tuffy. And Glisten. Just add a little bit around too. And I will just pour black on top. I don't know how much black I need. I will maybe just add a little bit on the corners too, I don't know. And I already painted my canvas with black, it's 12 by 12 inch canvas. So I don't know if this will work. I will just try to blow this a little bit. said I hope that I have enough paint and I hope that paints will react I don't know we will see if you don't try you don't know that's how it is Okay. 
maybe I didn't have enough paint. I don't know. There are not cells, there are some weird looking Let's do that again. Maybe not as much black, I don't know. Let's see. As I said, I don't know because this now I will just maybe my pants were too thick for this technique something will develop. Hmm. Kind of not sure about this. They're just too close together, but I believe that they will look quite nice. This will look quite nice when it will be dry because of all those pigments. I just have two spots here that have to add some paint. There are canvas underneath. Okay. Uh, and I'm doing this today, Monday. 20, uh, 31st of October, so uh, I will not be able to show you the dry results in today's video. 
So I will show you the close-up now and on Wednesday I will show you the dry results because I think that cells will not grow anymore this is it or maybe I'm wrong but let me take you down for a close-up and the try result I will show you on Wednesday so it's not a lot of a difference between blues and greens so I don't know how this will look I know that this is glisten that it looks white iridescent one and I kind of do you see my reflection like how they look like a planets or something but here you see the cells almost disappeared and they are not quite cells they are more like flowers I'm interested how this will dry even if I want to do a pearl pour I end up with flowers <laughs> I'm a flower girl see they are almost like flowers so <laughs> um, if you are interested how this will dry, please check the video on Wednesday. I will show the dry result then. And I will say have a, a nice Halloween if you are celebrated. And thanks for watching. See you on Wednesday. Bye.